Hi everyone! Thanks for joining me with playing with me. So this week, um, I wanted to show you guys how I plan my weekly spread for this upcoming week. Um, so this is a pencil case that I typically carry with me with my simple art supplies and pens. So let's get right to it. This week would be August 17, and typically I don't have any um, specific theme. I like to keep things very minimum and kind of just really simple lines. And, you know, again, I don't have a lot of time um, to spend in drawing this journal anymore. Um, a lot of what my journal do is really just keeping a running track record of what I need to do throughout the week. Um, and this is the pen that I have been using for quite some time. I use it for journaling, I use it for um, drawing. So I'm actually thinking about um, starting a whole section on teaching you how to draw mandala. So um, years ago, when I was going through some very troubling time, um, I started to do a lot of these uh, mandala drawings. And um, a couple of weeks ago, or actually during the pandemic, I hosted an art night where I was actually drawing these uh, mandala um, on Facebook Live. So if you haven't already done so, you can actually follow me on Facebook. I am at um, Life Coaching by Elevate, and you can follow me there. I do a lot of live streams on Facebook. Um, so, you know, again, I don't keep my bullet journal very complicated. So this week would be August 17th through August 23rd. And I realized as I was drawing these boxes that, you know, I didn't really follow the the dots. So my box, this is where I keep kind of like a um, working schedule reminder. Um, so on the day that I am staffing at a hospital work, at my hospital work, so it, it helps me to uh, visualize where I can uh, plug in for clients and speaking to clients and also doing all these, um, you know, speaking engagement and um, whatnot. So I realized that when I was drawing the box, you know, it wasn't in a straight line and I didn't count the dots. So what ended up happening is by the time I finished this, I realized that whole box was kind of um, tilted sideways. <laughs> But I guess, you know, there's a quote that I really love is that imperfection is really perfect. So there you go. That is my imperfection for this week. Um, for anyone who is a perfectionist, you know, you probably want that to be in a straight line and now it's crooked. So <laughs> try and fix that. And this is where our negative self-talks would come in. Oh, it's not perfect. I got to go fix it. I got to make it straight. Well, sometimes the imperfection is actually beautiful. Um, now I have a special page that has a crooked box. <laughs> so you always got to find humor in everything that you do in life. Um, it's very important to keep, uh, keep our heart lighthearted and just we kind of just go through our day more um happier um you don't want to be all serious and you, if you you know life is hard enough it doesn't need my negativity so there you go there you have it so on the top i typically have a little calendar just to kind of remind myself where i am at um so sometimes i get lost in terms of oh what day is it so this way when i flip over to my weekly planner weekly spread i would have a record of, of you know exactly which week are we and you know guess what we're actually on the last two weeks of august wow time just fly so 
for those of you who um, you know have these perfectionism, um, you may want to purchase those uh, stamps. So this is another option that I see a lot of bullet journal um, people that they they actually purchase is um, these calendar. You can you can uh, just stamp it on so that it doesn't it looks perfect. Mine doesn't look perfect, and I'm okay with that. Um, I'm I'm way past over for being perfect. So what you see here is actually um, my homemade habit tracker. So I have um, I've been looking for habit tracker for a very long time. I use this every week to track all my habits. And I've been looking around. There's a couple of options that you can you can do this. You can either, like I said, you know, you can get a stamp, and you can stamp actually um, the same format onto your notebook, or you can do what I do. I actually use um, this application called Canva, C A N V A, and I may I found one of those um, template that looks like a tracker. Um, so I deleted it and I recreated it and into a habit tracker for myself. So what I typically track is my gym time. Um, even though right now it's pandemic, our gym is still closed. But I use the gym time as a way to track my exercises throughout the week. And I also do meditation. Um, meditation, I do it. Um, I try to do it every day. Sometimes I don't get to it, so I wanted to make sure that I have a place to track it. And speaking of meditation, I am actually hosting um, meditation circle. So for those of you who's interested in practicing meditation, I am going to have the circle every week, and we meet on uh, Wednesday at four o'clock Pacific time. Um, this is basically where we come together and meditate. So meditation is another track, tracking thing. And I also track social media updates. So I create posts. I write emails. I update my blog. So those are the things that I track. And if you're interested, you can actually download a copy of my um, habit tracker within my Facebook group. So if you go to... Um, my Facebook group, it's called the Confidence Lab with Michelle Quay. Um, you can search the Confidence Lab and you will see me. You can come and join the group. And in the group, I would have these um, habit tracker available for you to download. Um, so you can go ahead and join the group. And, and there's actually a copy floating around. So on my weekly spread, I just use very simple color. Um, this week's it's blue. Last week was actually pink. Um, so I have a very simple one thing color. Um, and once I identify the line spaces, then I write over it, you know, my week and the day. Some days I will be staffing at the hospital, so I won't have a lot of, um, agenda to fill. Um, basically when I go to work, you know, I go to work. I don't have a lot of appointments or things to do to track. Um, I'll, I, I do write my thoughts, but I have so much of them. So I end up um, using another spread, another section to just do a brain dump. So each line I filled it up with, you know, the day of the week. And then there's a section for the notes on the top where I can jot down, you know, quick notes that I need to remember or things I need to do um, for this particular week. It's very simple, nothing complicated. So, yep, there you have it. That is my weekly spread. So now that I have the weekly spread, um, so when I first got this bullet journal, I didn't, it was a journal that I had purchased for quite some time, but I didn't know what to put inside. Um, so it was just sitting on the shelf for a while. And then I finally decided I wanted to use it as a bullet journal. 
but then um, those of you who bullet journal, you know that usually um, the m most powerful thing is actually the um, index page. So I realized that I needed to have the index page and you also need to have the page number. So you notice that, you know, on the bottom, um, if you look closely, there's no page number, right? You know, I'm basically filling in the blank of my work schedule and then um, kind of just decorate it a little more. But on the bottom um, right there, there's no page number. I have to uh, pencil it in. I have to fill it in. So now I'm going back to my um, index page. Um, there's So over the weekend, I did a... Um, brain dump. I was reading a book and I was doing some brain dump and I forgot to page number on the previous page. And so I got to figure out like what page number it is. Now I'm going back to my index page and then um, basically I put it, keep a log of what's where. So I, I actually need a new line for the weekly log. So I made a new line for the weekly log and with the page number. So my next bullet journal would actually have page numbers just to save me some time. And now that I really love the system, um, I, I learned this years ago, but never really put it into practice. Now I can put it into practice and which is the system has been great. So that would be it. Thanks for watching and remember, if you haven't already done so, be sure to um, subscribe and I appreciate you liking my video. Thanks.